Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 Dragunov guide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dragunov's tackle. This is going to include setups, Oki and a very special feature that he has. So the tackle is down back bumpers 2. It's a 26 frame mid hitting throw. On hit you get the mount and 3 possible follow ups. The one extension is Frostbite. This is 35 damage and leaves them face down. But D3 is guaranteed, so in total you do 45 damage. If they choose to stay down, go for the stomp. You do need to slice it right first here, but it will do 54 damage. Against standards and back rollers, it becomes D3, and Waker Kicks will beat it. But to cover that, use DF2. This will work against back rollers, but other options get launched. The 2 extension gives you ankle hold. This also does 35 damage, but the Oki is non existent. The only thing that I can suggest is slide kick. This can be blocked though and also interrupted. The third extension is 1 plus 2. This is 40 damage and does give you Oki. Your best option is probably D2. This is everything apart from standing and back rolling. To cover that, use DF3. This is a safe mid that also beats wake up kicks. Anyone on the ground though will escape. Now looking at those three, you can see why Dragunov's tackle is better than the generic one. With a generic tackle, there are two places to break the punches, either the first punch or the fourth. With Dragunov's tackle though, there is only one, so if they don't break it, you get the full damage. The other thing is Dragunov's unique reversal. Just like all generic tackles, this can be broken early or reversed after hitting the floor. After that though, Dragunov has an option select. What you do is you hit 1-1-2 one, one, as you fall. Now if they go for a 1 punch, your 2 inputs will break it. If they go for a 2 punch though, you get the reversal. Now this is a special feature that only Dragunov and Paul have. And it means that basically, they're immune to the punches. If that wasn't enough, Dragunov also gets Oki. Your best option is probably D4. This is everything but standing. To cover that, use DF2. This will launch them along with wake up kicks. Sadly, back rollers will escape, but to cover that, use DF1. This will catch them and standers. Now, if the opponent only has mounted punches, you can boost your immunity by hitting 1 1 2 and then mashing 2. That way, you should block the 1 punch. Where it becomes complicated is when they have an armbar. In that case, you have to time it. What you do is 1 1 2 and then mash 1 plus 2 or all 4 buttons. The idea is that your 2 input covers the left punch and the mash then covers the armbar. Now, if you do this right, you will break all options, including leg locks. The only stuff that will get you is the unbreakables. Now before I move on to the next section, I just want to ask you guys to hit that like button. That will help other people find this video and motivate me to do more for this character. So having this throw is all good, but what we need to know are ways to use it. The obvious route is his strings. Back 4 2 and side step 2 1 plus 2 both have tackle extensions. The problem though is the tackle is still slow and good players will simply interrupt it. Instead, I'd go for setups where you have significant frame advantage. The best one is probably DF3 plus 4. This is a safe tracking mid that's plus 12 on hit. To stop people interrupting, go for another DF3 plus 4 or back 1 plus 2. The former is safe and the latter is actually plus frames. In fact, if you're interested in frame traps, I did an entire video on them. There's a card to that in the corner and a link in the description. The other setup we have is D2 and while standing 1 2. The former is plus 13 on counter hit, the latter is plus 10 on regular hit. With both of these, you can still use DF Reapers 4 to cover. Back plus 1 2 though will be too short. A third setup we have is Walking Dead. This is only from face down. Hitting 1 plus 2 will make Dragunov crawl forward. Hitting 1 plus 2 again will activate the tackle. Now this is useful because it allows him to escape certain Oki situations. It also means that sometimes he can catch people off guard. 
The fourth setup we have is Rage Drive. This is normally plus five on block, but if you buff the tackle, you get a blue spark version. Now from my testing, neither the tackle nor the follow-ups can be broken. So in effect, you have an unblockable. The downside though is the speed. People can still interrupt it, and if you rage drive, you probably don't have much life left. Now if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe, because there's more Dragon Up guides coming and you don't want to miss out. The next thing you should do is check out my video on reversals. This is a very useful tool and it has numerous setups. If you've already seen that, then have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.